In this video, I'd like to look at three simple little introductory bash scripts. So I'm going to work in the sort of online bash emulators so that there's no setup. It's just uh, simply about the bash code and uh, you know its, its nature and it's simple, just sort of variables assignment, reading into variables, a little concatenation, just sort of simple uh, introductory get us started uh, code and just to get used to the nature of bash. So here's a little program that has a um, username uh, assigned to a variable and then echoing it out with the word hello. And as it says in the comment at the top, the hashtag starts the comment, um, only one of these is going to uh, sort of work properly for us. So let's run it, see which one gives us a good result and then sort of say what was wrong with the others. So here we go, run, and let's uh, expand this region up here. And it said there was a problem with uh, line two, uh, line four, line six, line eight. So almost all the assignments, but the last one, that number 10 worked and we managed to say, hello, bam, bam. Okay. So let's look at the one that works and then look at what's wrong with the ones that don't work. So in 10, when we successfully got in, uh, assigned to the variable username, the string, the literal string, bam, bam, we said in the assignment statement, we said username without a dollar sign. So when you are giving a variable in bash a value, when you're assigning a value to the variable, uh, there is no dollar sign. So there's the usual, it appears on the left-hand side of the assignment statement, but in addition, you do not use the dollar sign. But when you are working with it, when you are getting its value and you want to use its value, say in the uh, 11, in the echo statement where we are echoing out, the username, then we use a dollar sign to sort of announce that I don't want the word username, but I want the value of the variable username. Also to note in 10 is that there are no spaces around the equal. So it's the variable, the equal, and then the string. Okay, so now that we see what's right, Let's go back and see what was wrong. So in number two, uh, we were assigning and we used the dollar sign on the variable on the left-hand side of the equation. And we don't use that. When we are giving a variable a value, when we're assigning it a value, we don't use the dollar sign. Only use the dollar sign when we're getting a value from it, not when we're giving, not when we're giving it a value so that's why two doesn't work. It has the dollar sign in on the wrong side of the equation, on the wrong side of the assignment statement, I should say. Number four, the problem is a space. I can have no space before the equals. Six is the same, no space after. And it's not like it wants two spaces. It's not before and after. So uh, four, six, and eight all did not work because of spaces around the equal. So 10 didn't have the dollar sign, didn't have the spaces. That's why it worked. Okay, so let's move on to the next. Um, just changing uh, editor or these emulators uh, sort of for fun. So here is a different way to get uh, a variable uh, a value. And this is sort of prompting the, the user of the script, sort of the, the terminal user, uh, having them type it in. So there, there's going to be an echo, there's going to be printout on the terminal, what is your name, then the 
the terminal user will type a name and then the code will uh, and, and hit enter to, to signal that they're done entering. And then um, it will echo out the statement, uh, hello with the username. So let's run that. So what is your name? And we'll say uh, Fred and enter and then hello Fred. So this is another way to get a variable uh, assigned a value. Um, note then it's uh, consistent with what we saw before that when the username was being assigned something, there was no dollar sign. So line two has no dollar sign. But when we are uh, retrieving that value and using it in something else in line three, then we use the dollar sign. There's another way it's a little more advanced than what I'm doing today, where we use the um, the script sort of like as a command or as a function, and then we can give that that command some arguments. So right now in this simple emulator, we are just running the script and not giving it any arguments. So uh, that so you see that over on this uh, right hand side here that that sort of little yellow arrow near the top it says bash main.sh so it's imagining that my uh, bash script over there on the left is called main.sh and then we uh, use the, the word bash to invoke it but there are no arguments following the script name but that is a, a another way for us to to get uh, information in to get values into variables, but uh, we'll do that another time. Okay, our third example is just some concatenation. So we already have seen some concatenation. We said hello plus the username. Um, so I want to show, uh, again, just a, a number of examples of concatenation and sort of see which ones work and which ones don't. So I have in line two here a, a proper assignment of, of the name Dino to the username. So again, one assigning, no dollar sign, no spaces. And then I'm echoing out hello uh, and the username in various ways. And uh, let's run and then see which ones work and which ones don't. Okay, so line three forgot the dollar sign. So we are trying to retrieve the value of username and, and use it, but we did, we did not uh, put in the dollar sign. So it just treated it sort of as text. And you can see some, something somewhat unusual about bash is that uh, it took it took the text that was in quotes and but it also took this plus username some text that was not in quotes and it kind of treated them on an even keel. Um, in line four we have hello plus dollar sign username so now we have the dollar sign so it knows to uh, replace uh, dollar sign username with its value of Dino but it's treating that plus as just some text and so we printed out the plus so that's not that was not my intention five just says hello followed by the username and and that 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 worked that that was that was proper that's what i wanted to get just hello and dino and so five works just to have concatenation and bash can be achieved just by having one, the variable follow the sort of literal string that you wanted to concatenate it to. Um, six, I, six doesn't work sort of for the same reason that four didn't work is sometimes in print statements and echoes in various languages, you, you can print out or echo out various things by making sort of a comma separated list. Uh, but here in bash, it is the, the comma, was also uh, echoed out. That's not what I intended here. In seven, we have put the uh, variable inside 
the quote inside the literal, but be, but with the dollar sign, it is understood that it should sep, uh, substitute in the value. And so uh, lines uh, five and seven gave us our different approaches, but gave us the answer that uh, we were looking for. Hello, Dino. So just some intro to Bash. That's what I wanted to show you in this little video. Thanks much.